I'm back with this video and this video is a video that I've been thinking about for a while because a lot of people um like Kenya has this um storyline she had for years of speaking out against bullies. This right here is the proof that Kenya was and is the bully on the show. Now my first time stopped watching the show when I was on social media, just all over the place, you know, looking up different things. During that time, it was Rihanna and Beyonce, and everybody hating on Beyonce, I mean, hating on Rihanna, because they think she's trying to take Jay-Z and all other kind of issues. People talking about she got herpes bump and all kind of things. Which to me, I find annoying. Just because somebody have a bump on their, of a mole, don't mean they got herpes, but anyway. Anyway. That's when I first started watching the show, when I came across this. And I stopped pulling up all these little clippings to see it. And then that's when I um, saw this episode, and I've been watching it ever since. Now, everybody claims Portia needs anger management. I said from the beginning, Kenya provoked Portia. Kenya assaulted Portia. People want to think Portia just... Need anger management, but think about this. This woman has a fall horn. Now, watch Cynthia right here, who at the reunion claimed that it wasn't that serious and that Portia just overreacted and opened her hand but she acted like it didn't phase her. There's no way in the world that she's not faced that this fall horn did not disturb her ear because I know it disturbed Portia. Now, Let's look at this. She is yelling, you dumb bee, into a fall horn into this woman's face. Look at Cynthia. Like I say, Portia already told her about that um, little pixie thing she had swinging over in her face. And she snatched that and threw it on the floor. And she pulls out a fall horn. But she claimed she did not assault Portia. She claimed she did not provoke Portia. And she claims, uh, provoking, when you provoke people, there is no, that is no reason for somebody to put hands on. But, she put hands on Portia when she screamed that fall horn in her face. Now, Cynthia sit up there and took Kenya's side as if Kenya did nothing wrong. Look at, look at Cynthia. Cynthia is devastated. She's mortified that this is going on and she's in the middle of it. Look at that, she's laid back. Now, Portia, you know, and, and here's Kenya, provoking, claiming she did nothing wrong. So now Portia's telling her to get that stuff out of Faith because Faith already told her in advance if she put that um that um little wand thing in her face again, she was going to wrap it around her neck. So she ain't put no fall horn in Faith's face. She put it in Portia's face because the name of the game was to provoke Portia and get Portia to be the um the out of control person on the stand trying to make millennials look like they're out of control when they're actually not. But there's so much a person can take when you are constant every time they open their mouth, you are provoking them with something. Now she's screaming these words and Cynthia's sitting here and now Portia pushes Cynthia back. You not phased Cynthia? You don't think um what Kenya was doing was very, very, very assaulting. So Portia gets up and she's still and she's still young to a fall, huh? Portia gets up, Portia in her face, and the rest is history. Once Portia got up out of her seat, the um I might see those two. The um the security got between them. Portia reached around that security person, got Kenya by that long hair of hers, and drug her butt across the floor. Now then Portia screaming that she, look what she made her do what she did. You can't scream a foghorn in somebody's face. It does something to their brain. Really. It does something to their brain. And Cynthia acting like not Cynthia. And um Kenya acts like she has no understanding of that. You cannot, let's just say, getting each other's face is one thing. 
But she could not provoke Portia into fighting with her words. Cause Portia just sat there and just let it go. A fall horn? Mm -mm. That was assault. And then she had the nerve to call the police and have Portia arrested for dragging her across the stage when she provoked the girl. But I understand Portia got a lawyer and her lawyer told her it was assault. When Kenya put that fall horn in her face and I think that's how come Kenya back off that um back off those charges. Because she, she could have arrested us she could have arrested had Kenya arrested also for assault and battery. I'm pretty sure she I'm pretty sure she learned that lesson. So she still tries to provoke people, says things to provoke people, say the old island thing, but but people don't get up and attack her because they don't have because she because she's not allowed to have weapons on the show to attack people into fighting her. Like she tried to do um Phaedra. When she tell Phaedra, the man you are sleeping with and Phaedra went to bat upside her head with her pocketbook, she provokes people. That kind of provoking is still wrong, but that kind of provoking is not a fall horn where you scream a dumb beat into somebody's face. I'm gonna tell you, you scream, you scream at me with a fall horn. First thing I'm gonna do is go, I'm going blind to start with. And then when I go blind, I'm gonna find you. Because it, because then you're right there. Like I said, Portia find her. But look at Portia. She don't tell her to keep those things out of her face. You just, it, it, it is what it is. So this right here is just a short video showing that Kenya purposely attacked and assaulted Portia into dragging her by them beautiful hair of hers across that floor. But anyway, that's it for this video, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.